Hey guys, uh, so I'm going to do a proper video now, I'm, I'm getting a little bit more confident about things and putting videos on YouTube. Uh, the latest videos, what I have, what I was going to do were game reviews and things like that and demos and whatnot. Uh, but I think I'm going to do a little bit different in this video. Uh, me, myself, I'm a... Uh, I like fixing PCs and things and I know a lot of people do that themselves and mod them and things like that. Uh, but I want to do a brief video for whoever, well you guys who want to watch this video on uh, the stuff that you'll want to need and you may need if you want to go about fixing PCs for people or yourself. Uh, it might be quite educational, you might want to listen and take points. I'll put down a list of certain things underneath in the description section of certain things that I'd recommend that you should have uh, as a IT guru such as yourselves or whoever else. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Anyway. Uh, so I'll start doing. I'll st I'll start saying a couple of things that you might want to think about. I've got various things situated around me that I use for fixing PCs in my own little office thing, bedroom, man cave, whatever you want to call it. But here we go. So <clears throat> first of all, I'd recommend for if you're in a PC case and it's a little bit dark and you can't see what you're doing, to get one of these little lights. Uh, you can pick it up from. I pick mine up from a garage. Uh, it's pretty bright. We're only cost two pound, and it's it's fantastic. You can see everything. We're really useful. Second, I'd suggest getting some wire snips. Uh, if you can't get any tweezers or anything like that, you can be able to pick things up with that and nip and whatever with them. And also, if you want to resolder some wires for anything in a PC, I mean, if you've got a power supply and there's a loose wire, you can just strip it and resolder it together and heat shrink and compress it so it's actually insulating the things. Like I said, if you've got nippers, these things. Oh, there fault. There we go. Uh, and what they do is, if you've got loose some screws inside your actual PC case, you can use them to actually pick them up. Uh, but be careful not to p touch anything on the actual motherboard itself, because you may actually short it out depending on which parts that you touch and components and such things like that. The key essential things for laptops and PCs having a little fine screwdriver such as this like that but I tend to use this it's dead at the moment but it's really useful I've got an extension that extends it and it says arsing about and screwing and it just goes done and there's little ends for it just farted and little things for it like there uh, stinked. Uh, scissors if you want to actually do it properly and go about doing receipts for people and uh, registering your send as a proper business like I am, uh, you need these, these obvious scissors, snip snip paper, done, there's your receipt, there's mine, thank you, thank you sir. Uh, microfiber cloth, very important for cleaning anything like screens and that if you use. A dish cloth, it's got fibres in there that actually scratch the bezel and your screen, you might not be able to see it but it will scratch it and it will end up proper effing up your display. And same again for anything, I use mine for cleaning my computer screen, anything that attracts dust, so that's anything that's matte black, such as iPhone, which I'm recording off, PC case, telly, PS3 and so on and so forth like that. But very useful, you can pick them up from any supermarket, I got mine from Netto and they only cost a quid for four boxes down there somewhere, and I chucked them. I've got, like I said, I've got four in them and they're really useful. Also a Netto purchase, uh, Dr. Magic. Uh, screen cleaning solution. Uh, I was a bit sceptical about buying it at first, and so was my friend. Uh, he's on YouTube. I'll put a link here somewhere for you. It's called Evansy. He does airsoft reviews. He's a good lad. Uh, check him out. Uh, he'll, he's only got a video up of a transforming gun, but he'll get there some on there. Anyway, it's really good. Uh, just pss, pss, white, white, and you're done. And it, it does a really good finish for your display. These are also really good, another Netto purchase because they're on sale and they're only 25p. So I thought hmm, I might as well buy a few. Uh, they're a little jewellers set for screwdrivers. Uh, they're really good for doing laptop screws and getting, like, like I've got fat fingers so I can't get my fingers in, so these are really useful. Uh, I'm not really recommend this next item depending on whereabouts you live, but I normally use my knife for such things if I want to scrape some crap off a 
off a rope that's actually on PC, uh, and I just use that and scrape it off. But and also whatever you want to use it for. But no, nasty. Also, if you wanted to actually charge people for what you do, I'd recommend a money tester to see if it's fake and that. And our area from where I live in, it's full of scumbags and that. So uh, just use that. Thermal paste. Uh, I've just recently had a problem with my graphics card and I thought it was, it was overheating so I changed the thermal paste on it uh, give the fan a little blowout with some compressed air and uh, fitted it again and added another fan to my system and it's running a lot cooler now so thank you thermal paste uh, pen, self explanatory also recommend buying one of these, you can pick them up off of eBay or on eBay it's an external hard drive uh, I've got a partition on it, one's for Windows and another partition on it for my documents so whenever I go out or on the field actually repairing a PC for somebody plug that in, go into BIOS, change where it boots up from set it to a removable device, it'll pick up the Windows installation run through it and install it for you, Bob's your uncle, fan your aunt, it's done and then when you boot up into Windows you can detect the Windows drive and also the program drive so you've got your antivirus, office, so on and whatever you, that you need to actually install into your PC or a customer's PC it's all on here and it's really good we make sure none of the software is illegal if you know what I mean but if you fancy doing that then be my guest but just make sure you don't get caught I'll give you hints and tips on how not to do that uh, and how to not get, not get caught with counterfeit copies of Windows and such things. All you need to do is when you fill out a receipt for somebody, right on the bottom in small print, put the the software on this PC is for test purposes only and should be replaced by a genuine copy of ASAP. Then your back's covered and they can't sue your ass for it until they install an illegal software. But make sure you put their username when you're installing it as test because then you can prove that it is actually for test purposes and you're not doing them off. Anyway. And also, if you want to actually advertise your business, I'd recommend visiting a website called Vistaprint. I got to send a few uh, business cards for my business, and I've been bobbing it around a few uh, local shops around my end. And I actually do get a fair few business from it, and it's really, really good. It's a little bit extra income. And also recommend doing per uh, posters and that, and actually using a work folder like this. We have to advertisements and things in. As you can see here, I've got my receipts. Uh, and so on and so forth. I've got my first poster I actually designed just using PowerPoint and Photoshop and things like that. It's pretty simple to do. And a very early crap poster that would know, crap. And I've got some free stickers from Vistaprint actually for like re return addresses so the customer can send things back to you. A little invoice printout thing where I can do letters and whatnot and get them to my customers. A little mini poster and then a money wallet which is empty because I'm crap with saving money anyway uh, thank you for watching and um, any anything else that you need to inquire about just PM me and please subscribe to my channel I'll try and bring as much more information as I can possibly can to you uh, but anything else just PM me or ask but please subscribe comment rate and do whatever you want uh, thank you very much and tatty bye